Hi there, beer nerds. I hope you all are having a great week. Um, I wanted to come on this week to talk about something that might be a little controversial for some people out there, but I just want to get it off my chest because I really have had some strong feelings about it lately, and that is I hate waxed beer bottles. You know, you go into the, the nice bottle shop sometimes, you see a great big bomber of something that sounds really tasty, and it's got a waxed top on it, so they put a bunch of wax over the top of the beer bottle. Either it's corked or just has a bottle cap on there. But either way, they wax it, so maybe it stays fresh or something, or maybe it just looks really cool, I don't know. But, you know, I gotta be honest, I really, really hate these big bombers that are covered in wax. And, you know, I kinda got three main reasons for it. Um, Number one is that they're really hard to open. The first time I got a waxed bottle, a uh, wet, big wax bomber beer, it was a really great beer. It was really delicious raspberry tart beer, but to be honest, it took me and my girlfriend 20 minutes to open the damn thing as we were trying to find our sharpest knife around so we could, you know, peel this wax off and it was really hard wax. Um, and, you know, there's just no consistency on how hard or soft the wax is out there and brewers that don't normally do it might put wax on there that's really hard to get off and that's what, you know, that was absolutely the case of this beer we had the other day and it took us 20 minutes to get into a beer, which is not at all the point of beer. You know, that's what makes beer, you know, a little bit different from wine. You don't need some specialized tool to open a bottle of beer. Sure, you might need a pry off opener, but in a pinch, you can use an edge of a table, a, a piece of furniture. Um, one time I was out on a pontoon boat and used one of the pontoons on the boat to pop open a beer because we forgot to bring a bottle opener. But you know what? That doesn't work with our waxy bottles. And you know, you're starting to get into that more pretentious wine territory when you have to have a big, to do about opening a bottle of beer. It should just be easy to get into and drink. And you know, that kind of leads into my second point a little bit is that, you know, there's not really a lot of science there to back up why we, you would wax a beer bottle. So, you know, it, it, it takes after this kind of wine and I've seen it done with some whiskeys and, and some other liquors, but you know, we're, we're trying to seal it up for freshness. But, you know, when they study how much air permeates corks in, you know, wine bottles, or I guess that applies to beer, corked beer as well, um, you know, they're studying how much oxygen and gases leak in there over time. And, you know, when they study waxed bottles versus unwaxed bottles, you know, they find that the wax doesn't really help make a difference when it comes to uh, regulating the oxygen flow into a bottle of wine and so it's really strange that you know we're you know if, if brewers really are trying to preserve freshness of some of these really great beers that are going to be good to age um, it's really strange that we choose you know that the choices for wax uh, you know waxed beer bottles just don't make a lot of sense and beyond that there's no no studies on how this applies to beer they've only ever studied wax bottles with wine because frankly wax beer bottles haven't been that common and hopefully they won't be in the future because i really just don't like them and it, so yeah there's no science backing up that wax bottles keep it fresher and if they're a pain to open but you know i think the last one is is that a lot of these large format bottles and 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 bombers are really struggling out there in the market right now. Um, a lot of people are having a tough time justifying um, why they want to open, you know, 32 ounces of a 16% stout um, when they're just going to get totally crashed on it. And there's no great way to save it um, longer term either. And so, you know, we the industry is already seeing these large format bottled beers struggle. Um, in favor of things like crawlers or just moving some of these beers you're going to age into 12 ounce bottles. Um, and so it's really just strange, you know, that you, you take a large format that's already struggling, that people, you know, need a very special occasion to break out, and then you make it harder to open. And there's no real scientific benefit of doing so.
Um, so yeah, it's really just a, a strange mix for me of why, why in the world the beer industry, although you know, is it, although it's getting some more discerning consumers like myself and the tons of other beer reviewers on YouTube here. Um, you know, I start I start seeing people comment in their beer reviews that they appreciate breweries that stick these big stouts in smaller vessels because then they, you know, if they want to do it for a review, they don't have to find three other people to share it with or try to down that much alcohol themselves in a review. And it's weird that we're just trying to make these large format beers harder to work with. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, and you know what? Maybe some of you guys out there, you don't struggle at all opening these bottles. You like drinking a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of big beer at once, and so you don't really mind the large formats. But really, there is no science backing any of this wax stuff up um, when it comes to getting it through corks. And then, as far as you know, a regular beer top on there. That's already sealed really well, and that keeps out a vast, vast, vast majority of any gases that try to infiltrate there. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get wax bottles. I don't like them. Um, if you like them, that's great. Um, I'm probably not gonna be buying, buying any more wax bottle sets. Um, but maybe you have a good reason to disagree with me. If you do, let me know in the comments section below. Um, also, while you're down there, be sure to give that video a thumbs up. For more great uh, beer opinions from myself as well as just opening beer conversation around the web it's been uh, it, these ramble videos have been really great and sparked some really awesome conversation out there so uh, I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch today uh, to hear me sit here and rant about wax on beer bottles and how mad it makes me for whatever reason because I don't have enough to be mad about um, anyway I hope you all have a great week cheers